With Tesla stock going up hundreds of percents over the past few months, it leaves us wondering, what has happened to the short sellers and have they cashed out yet? First, let's identify who the biggest Tesla short sellers are and what they've said in the past. Generally, the results will always will out, right? Either the shorts or the longs are gonna be right about something. I, I would urge people to read John Carreyrou's book, Bad Blood, about Silicon Valley because it's not just about Theranos. One of the points he makes about Silicon Valley today is there is an unhealthy amount of leadership out there that believes that as long as you think you're changing the world or have convinced yourself that you're changing the world, it's okay to lie to people. Do you think, hey, bring um, this up, how long have you been short Tesla? So we've been short it four years, but the bigger problem has is that Porsche's coming. How expensive? Sorry. The big, hold on, say that again. You think Porsche's coming with their their own car. Porsche's coming with the Mission E, and and so and by, Jaguar with and the so I and so is Audi with the e-tron, and now, the big boys are coming, and they're coming with sexy looking cars at the same price point with better features, faster cars, great styling, and so what was unique for Tesla is no longer unique. Okay, so, but then the question. <laughs> Say that that Tesla is and remains one of our biggest and our best short positions. For anybody watching, uh, we're still bears. Um. So Chanos is actually a pretty successful shorter before Tesla. He shorted big companies like Entron, and he has openly said that he does have a big short position in Tesla. But we actually don't know how much money he's lost from Tesla. And Chanos's firm, his short in Tesla is in the form of a put and he has many other long positions. Over the past 12 months, his fund is up 12%. I do suspect that he put a lot of his own money into shorting Tesla, but 12% isn't much when you compare it to the S&P 500 that has gone up 25% over the past 12 months. This shortage could be due to his Tesla position. Whether or not that's true is your call. We do know that he's losing a lot of money. And with that being said, let's move on to the next short seller. Today, I'd like to talk about planes, trains, and automobiles. Let's start with automobiles. Napoleon once said, never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake, so I won't. Just watch the screen. That's a lot of horse <laughs> It's Lehman threatened short sellers, refused to raise capital, it even bought back stock, and management publicly suggested it would go private. Months later, shareholders, creditors, employees, and the global economy paid a big price when management's reckless behavior led to bankruptcy. Unfortunately for Einhorn, his support for GM and bias against Tesla has lost him lots of money. Greenlight Capital actually only rose by 13% in 2019, which is, of course, a lot less than S&P 500. And unfortunately for Einhorn, in 2018, he had to exit the Billionaire Club, and his net worth dropped from over a billion dollars to $700 million. So again, a big collapse for a Tesla shorter, and let's move on to the next shorter. Monday. Now, before we start, let's disclose uh, each of you what your stakes are here financially. Mike, we'll start with you. Yeah, so we're shorted sh stock here. Yeah, we're short uh, Tesla via outright stock, and, and we own long dated puts and some short dated puts. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a seven figure dollar amount of stock that we're short. You did really well that day. Bears did not do very well that day. What was your reaction when you saw this report come well, out? Well, I, I first have to ask about something you just said. Yeah. You said earnings were good. I mean, what I'm seeing here, this is the earnings, they had a gap loss of over $700 million. How is that possibly good? I meant the revenue, so I meant the top line. Top line was good. Earnings came in way more losses than expected. Right, so growing 
profitless revenue, in fact, growing money losing revenue, is not a sustainable business. Okay, so that was your reaction. You said this is going to continue to further my own thesis. Well, this report is awful. I do think um, that Q3 as a one-time shot can be considerably better than this. They'll still lose money, um, but they'll have a bunch of regulatory credits they can sell and there'll be some other things going on. Musk is promising gap profitability for Q3. I don't see any way that happens. I can see a, a small gap loss and then, it, and then losses will just escalate from there. So Mark Spiegel was another huge short seller of Tesla. 20% of his fund was shorting Tesla. In fact, in the recent fund report, his fund was actually down 11.4% in one month. I can imagine that he's lost hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, inside Tesla. We don't have the exact numbers. We know that he had seven figures shorting Tesla. For every million dollars that he had shorting Tesla, he lost $1.6 million of that since early June. So you can definitely imagine how much Mark Spiegel lost on Tesla and on his career. He was actually forced to cover 10% of his Tesla position and his Tesla position is now only 10% of his fund. When you get to a point where you're losing more money than you put in, you should definitely be pretty concerned. Overall, Tesla shorters have lost a massive $8 billion. And as time goes on, we'll see whether this number increases or decreases. But for now, we're just gonna have to wait and see. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe. And I hope to see you in another video.